I don't know why it looks like I don't have a neck, but I do. When Flight made the song, Can I Get a Heat Check? Heat Check. And it was about sneakers. I thought he was talking to me because I am the top sneaker head, period. I don't think nobody in history has more shoes than me. So it's been about seven, about seven months since I did the shoe tour. And I'm gonna give you an updated shoe tour right now because I want to tell y'all that I'm solidified the greatest sneaker collector in the world and I'm actually a hoarder you're a hoarder if you don't wear your shoes you're a shoe collector if you wear them. I'm a hoarder I don't wear any of my shoes I probably wear about four pairs and I collect the rest but anyways let's get into it and I love all you guys I love all you guys from the bottom of my heart but before we get into the rest of this video I don't care what size you wear I'm not giving away any of my shoes Period, so don't ask me. Anyways, let's get into the video. What we have here is my Jordan pile. Now, I used to have way more. I wanna say a lot, a lot, a lot more. Gave half of them away, sold half of them. But this is my Jordan pile, but let's get into it. All right, I think we should start with everyone's favorite Jordan shoe, which is not really my favorite. Uh, but let's start with the Jordan 11. So right here, and I don't remember the names that much, but I think these are the Carolina, no, this is the, I forgot, see, I forgot. I, I haven't collected Jordans in a long time. I forgot what these are called, but um, yeah, they're blue and white and baby blue. Right here, we have another pair of 11s. And these are Legend Blues. Legend Blue 11s, DS, just like that pair. Retail was, I believe, 220 as well. Right here we have another pair of 11s. Again, DS, never worn. I think those are called Fire Reds. I can't, Universal Reds, I think. Universal Reds, DS, retail was 220. Here we have the Gamma Blues. Retail was 220. Uh, not DS, wore these a couple times. Yeah, Gamma Blues, these are real nice. These are another pair of 11s. These are the Space Jam 11s. I think these retail for 240, I believe. Space Jam 11s. These are another pair of 11s. These are the Concord 11s. 240 was the retail price. A DS, never worn, never put on feet. All right, let's get to the lows. So I think these are called the Baron 11 lows. I wore these one time. Retail was 160. These are my favorite 11s. These are the cool gray lows. 11s, these retail for 160 as well. And I wore these about three times. Look like I wore them more than that. Gold metal 11s. Now these gold metal 11s have never been worn. They probably never will be worn. These shoes are ass, 160. Now these are the Carolina Lows, and these are the Emerald 11 Lows. Both 160, both DS. Probably wear these soon, but these, not so much. Kind of low-key terrible. All right, so these are Jordan 12s. These are a women's edition of shoe. I don't know what made me buy these. Like I said, I was just a sneakerhead. Um, these are DS. Probably would never wear them. Never. I believe this is the latest Jordan shoe that I got. I like the silhouette. Um, these are not DS. I wear these about four or five times. These are Jordan 12s. Uh, retail was 200. Now, we have the wool 12s. The wood 12s, this is very like a limited shoe. Um, yeah, I wear these a bunch of times. The retail is like 220. I think these are 250, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, we're just gonna round it off to 200. All right, so I got this shoe when I got the Gamma 11s. And this shoe is the Gamma 12s. I have never wore these. Still got all the original things. I think these was like 252, so yeah. Gamma 12s, never worn. All right, Laker 9s, Kobe 9s, whatever you want to call them. I got these because I had got a Laker jacket. Um, didn't really like them, don't, still don't like them. 
Rest in peace, Kobe. But this is a terrible shoe. One of my recent Jordan pickups. This is a cool gray four. Pretty cool shoe, wore them a bunch of times. Not very comfortable, but whatever. Retail $200. Cav fours. Now, this is the Cav fours, Nick fours, whatever you want to call them. These are not DS, but I never worn. I bought these off somebody, never worn before, never got an outfit. But when I do, you're gonna notice me for sure. <laughs> you're gonna for sure notice this when I wear these, no cap. Here we got the Maroon Sixes. This should be my favorite shoe. Love these shoes, Maroon Sixes, Burgundy. And then we got the Cigar Sixes. Cool, cool, nothing too much. I don't really wear my Jordans at all no more. I kind of fell off in love with them. Um, but still. Infrared Sixes, Infrared Sixes. Cool shoe, fucks with it. Jordan Fives. Now, I got this shoe because I seen Flight with an outfit with them. Thought it was dope. I copied this fit and then told everybody he copied my fit. So, yeah, I wore these once. This is why I don't collect J's anymore. I wore these one time. Look at the scuff. I forgot what these are called. Never wore them, but I wanted them after I seen somebody else in them. Yeah, cool little shoe. This is my three recent pickups. Uh, we got the gold medal Jordan ones. DS never worn. We have the shadow ones ds never worn and we have the pine green 2009 20 version ds never worn and we got a couple more but i don't feel like talking about jays nobody want to talk about jays anymore they're terrible all right y'all little bonus shoe i did get the air jordan threes uh what is these animal safaris i think animals these are pretty dope Oh, that's like real. I don't know if it's real, but it's like leathery and like the material is cool. So I got these two. Wear these about four or five times. Might put them on the day. So yeah, these are cool too. All right, say that out of Jordan shoes, we're looking at about $7,400 worth of shoes. Let's get on to the Adidas. All right, so I want to say I am a huge fan of Adidas now. Not huge too much, it died down but it's still up there. So right here we have a Yeezy shoe that I didn't wear. It started with a Y. Uh, I bought these just to buy them. Um, I haven't worn them yet. And these, I have, them, I have worn them maybe twice. Um, these shoes are very comfortable though. So we got these two uh, Yeezy 350s and they both retail for, uh, for 220 I believe. Both of these are 220. We have a second set of Yeezys. We have, I can't remember the names of these shoes. They just lost my train of thought but these are all white pair of yeezys that i never wore never wore at all wore these about four times never worn at all four times never worn at all four times yeah that's a total of four pairs of yeezy 350 all right so here we go again so we have another pair of yellow yeezys these are yellow i never wore these but then we have a pair of yeezys that i have worn and i wore these twice none twice that's six pair of 350s right there. You got another pair of Yeezy 350s. These are the Zebras. These are the Zebras Yeezy 350s. I have never wore these, but these are probably my favorite pair of Yeezys um, out of every silhouette. It's probably my second favorite. I have a favorite now that I just talk about it. So yeah, the Yeezy Zebras, the DS. And I got these orange kind that I probably never wear. And these are DS as well. We have two more pair of Yeezy 350s. These I wore once to the club, and these were my first pair of Yeezys. Blue tint Yeezys. I remember I paid 350 fees on Stock X. I was so happy. I finally got a pair of Yeezys. And then these are some of my recent. I bought these, this one. I bought these and these at the same exact time. And I regret them to this day. My recent pickup was these beautiful Yeezys. This is like a sand color. I read this is the last shoe I bought. I got this shoe maybe three days ago. Um, I just like it. I like the color of it. Uh, I'll probably find a nice jacket to wear with these pretty soon. And these are, you should know what these are. Come on, man. I wasn't even collecting Yeezys when these first came out, but I got them now. Pretty cool. And the date these came out was, don't even say. I don't know, maybe these are faked. All right, these are Yeezy 700s. 
And these are some, I forgot, I think they're 500 salts. Never worn. Wore the, I wore these shoes maybe, maybe 50 times. This is probably my most weird shoe, maybe. Now nah, I got another shoe. And then this, my favorite easy of all time, probably my favorite shoe of all time, is this shoe right here. Wave Runners. I wear these shoes a lot. I regret wearing them a lot. But these are my favorite, favorite shoes of all time. Love these shoes. If you have a size nine or nine and a half in these, hit my DM, I'll buy them. Wish I had more, but I don't. These are the Off-White Prestos. Off-White Prestos with the clear bottom. These are a little bit cheaper than the black bottom, but we still got them nevertheless. These are the off-white Prestos. Now, these are... What the fuck is these called? I forgot what these are called. These are off-white... No, these are off-white Vapor Maxes. These are off-white Prestos. So yeah, these range to about $700 each. This is $1,400 of shoes in my hand right now. 1400 now the 14 pair of yeezys that's right here i mean J jordans don't compare to the two pair of shoes right there and those shoes have lasted me a long time i wore both of them multiple times and they still look better than half the jordans so you do get you do pay for quality you do pay for quality forgot about these these are the travis scott sixes these are travis scott sixes uh, i like this shoe uh, i like the green on it this is travis scott sixes pretty dope uh, don't listen to Travis Scott, but that man can design a shoe. All right, y'all. Uh, this is the off-white ones. These are off-white ones. These are DS. These range from anywhere to sixteen hundred dollars to eleven, eleven to sixteen hundred dollars. And I got a pair. So yeah, off-white shoes come up to like twenty-five hundred. That is a lot of money. But don't rob me, cause I do got a gun. And don't try to come to my house. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill anybody. But yeah, off-white one. These are the Shattered Backboards 3.0. These are the third version of the Shattered Backboards. This is one of my favorite shoes. I wore this shoe three times already. This is my one of my favorite shoes right now. Shattered Backboard 3. This is um, the 72 10s, uh, 11s. I forgot about it, but who cares? That's another 11 that we can have. We have my favorite brand of all time. We have Balenciaga. Balenciaga, triple S's. We have the Speed Racers, all black, all red, and all blue. And we have the all red triple S's. These range about $900. And then my personal favorite shoe that I wear the most, Balenciaga as well. The Versace Chain Reactions. These shoes give me a height of about three more inches. So, I fucks with them because of that. And then we have the Gucci's. Now, this is the worst designer shoe I probably ever bought, and I would not buy another pair of these. I think Gucci has one of the worst designed shoes of all time. I hate these shoes. I hate them. I have some Alexander McQueen's. I hated them too. Got rid of them. But I like the Versace shoes. Last and very much least is Timberlands. Now, they don't really sell that much Timberlands in LA because it doesn't snow, but they don't know that Timberland is a fashion statement. It brings any outfit out. So yeah, Timberlands is my last pair of shoes. So if I had to count, I say I have over a hundred pairs of shoes and I'm very tired from naming, oh, one more. LeBron James Martin. I got them for free. I stole them at the Ace Family event. But anyways, I have maybe over $30,000 worth of shoes here. I'm very excited uh, that I have these shoes that are just gonna grow and grow and grow. If you are a shoe plug and want to link with me and work on something to give me some more shoes, make sure you hit me up on my Twitter. Make sure you hit me on my Instagram. The link is in the description. But anyways, y'all, I'm tired. Um, I gotta put all these shoes back. I'm gonna have a bad day. Hope you enjoyed.